what happens next? Yep. Enzymes catalyze digestive reactions to break down the natural polymers found in food. Right. I think we'd better just get on with it. In digestion, large molecules from food are broken down into smaller, soluble ones. These are absorbed into the blood plasma and lymph and transported to where the body can use them. We'll look at how starch, proteins and fats get digested. And hopefully, I get to eat this steak and chips. Enzymes are biological catalysts. But you knew that. Digestion relies on them and it happens in the gut, which is good. Better than on the plate. So, the gut then. Here is your digestive system. Looks nice, doesn't it? The long tubes are the gut, where digestive enzymes act as catalysts in the breakdown of food molecules. These digestive enzymes are produced by specialised cells in glands and the lining of the gut. But unlike other enzymes, digestive enzymes work outside of the cells that produce them. They pass out into the gut and start to work on your chocolate biscuit. In fact, they can get to work on anything. Is that all you need to know about digestion? Oh, if only. Then we could spend the rest of the time relaxing. But you also need to know which enzymes are needed for what jobs. Different parts of the gut produce different enzymes. Amylase is produced in the salivary gland, pancreas and the small intestine. Amylase is a type of carbohydrate. It catalyzes the chemical reaction that breaks down starch into sugars. Protease is produced in the stomach, pancreas and the small intestine. Protease breaks down proteins into amino acids. And lastly, lipase. Lipase is produced in the pancreas and small intestine. Lipase breaks down lipids, oils and fats, into fatty acids and glycerol. Amylase, protease and lipase. Only three to remember. All three enzymes are produced in the pancreas and small intestine. And then, in addition, amylase is produced in the salivary glands and protease is produced in the stomach. Different enzymes work best at different pH values. The stomach produces hydrochloric acid to begin digestion and to kill harmful microorganisms too. The stomach is a very acidic environment. So it's no surprise that enzymes in the stomach work best at low pH values. Food travels from the stomach into the small intestine where it's all change. Because the enzymes here work best in alkaline conditions. That's pH values above 7. A substance called bile makes this change. <coughs> Sounds delightful. Bile is made in the liver and stored in the gallbladder. It's released into the small intestine to neutralise the stomach acid. This creates the alkaline conditions the enzymes need to carry on digesting the food. So by the time we get to the small intestine, everything is being digested. The enzymes from the pancreas mix with those made in the small intestine. It's all going on, a gloopy goo of digestion. Amylase, protease and lipase digesting carbohydrates, proteins and fats to produce glucose, amino acids, fatty acids and glycerol. These diffuse through the lining of the gut and get into our blood. They're all useful chemicals. Everything the body needs. <coughs> <coughs>